What's up, everybody? On this week's episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to go over a few things. Uh, it's going to be a little quicker than the usual ones because uh, there's a few things I want to get to, and I plan to have another video uh, posted tomorrow as well. Uh, the quick things, first of all, the Zoa Pally Garden is really coming out very well. Um, these zoas here on the right are expanding and broadening. They're getting the heads are getting a lot thicker and more round. Uh, you can see that throughout the Zoa Garden. Uh, there's more growth than ever before. Um, the acans are doing really well. More heads are being formed on that one. The Duncan in the back. Um, is doing well even though right now it's not showing it. Um, during the day it does come out a lot more. So hopefully that's on a road to recovery. And the pagoda coral is doing the same. More and more of the polyps are coming out during the day. Um, and I'm happy about that. Of course my Euphelia garden it's just, uh, it's just awesome. There's nothing more I can say about that because the um, frog spawn, as usual, is getting more heads. I counted 21 to 22 heads on that, so another head, another one or two heads is formed on that. Uh, the hammer is puffed out and happy, and the torch has another head as well. So there's three or four in this uh, bundle. The an enemy, this one's growing really good, but the one I explained about last week is seemed to uh, having a lot more problems and um, as best as I can try and feed it, it's just not eating. So we'll have to see how that, how that goes. Over to the left side of the tank, the red digi is getting polyp extension. Uh, even though you can't tell under the whites, uh, let me see if I can maybe drop out my white if you can see it if I zoom in as you can see here even though it's that's not clearing up but you can tell the polyps are out they're just not, not coloring up as red as this one or this one in the back but it is getting polyp extension the purple digi, as you can see, there is still amazing growth and polyp extension on it. Uh, I am getting this goldish hue to the ones on the end, and you can really tell that with the whites on. So I'll go back to whites on this. As you can see, uh, this greenish gold, um, pigment on the polyps on the end but there is a lot more growth from that so things are going pretty well uh, of course um, the remaining corals still doing great I did pick up from bulk reef supply a pair of bone cutters so this rock will soon be thinned out. And uh, there is a few people that are interested in it. Uh, I was talking to Billy Pipes and he's interested in some of them. So we'll see how that plays out. The chalice is getting bigger by the day and that will soon wind its way over here. Um, so that being said, yeah. Not even going to go there. I want to thank the response to the contest, the subscriber contest. Uh, that will close at midnight tonight, at which point um, I will post a video tomorrow with the winner and also uh, how the drawing was done and also what prize. Right now, it looks like the Salifert nitrate test kit is going to be the winner. Right now, um, there's 50% of the vote, 
to 28% on the refractometer. And um, again, I thank you all for the support, uh, for the response, and uh, that's about it. All right, so this has been a quick update. Hope you like what you see. And as always, this is Scott, and I'll see you next time by the Reef Tank.